it's Naomi Shops here with another subscription box for you. Okay, so you know I don't need anything in my life right now. I'm trying to be more minimalistic as far as things. So when something draws me, it's something that I kind of want. Um, not necessarily need because I don't need anything. But if I'm going to do a, a trial of it or see what it's like, I kind of want something that I'll be able to use in my daily life. And so I decided to try this one because with sunglasses, the styles go in and out so fast that I don't like to spend a lot of money. I used to spend a lot of money on sunglasses. Maybe one of these days I'll show you my collection. I have quite a few and yeah, they get real pricey real fast. And that is one thing that is a completely wasted expense. So let's get started. I decided to try this one. They actually have men's and women's, so you can decide, you know, which one best fits you. So it's kind of nice that there, it is unisex as far as uh, a subscription that both men and women can take advantage of. It's $20 a month. The things that I liked about it was before I place my order, uh, you actually take some quiz type thing where, you know, it says like, what do you think of round sunglasses? or cat eye it actually asks you some questions on what your style is um, because who wants to spend twenty dollars even for a pair of sunglasses that look terrible on your face um, if you absolutely know that that style is never going to work for you one thing that doesn't work for me is like those um beetles type round sunglasses those don't i mean if they're really large oversized they look okay on me but the really small like kind of hippie type do not look good on me they've never looked good on me there's just certain ones that don't um some of the brands of ray-ban don't look so good on me um it's, so it's just uh nice that they ask you some questions beforehand so you don't get a pair of sunglasses that you probably aren't gonna like um this is the other thing that i want to say that's really cool is i've had packages come up missing before and basically I was told, you know, tough titty. Uh, they actually stand by their brand and if it goes missing, they will replace it for you for free. They don't charge you anything to reship it out, which was really nice. My package actually ended up going to my neighbor's house by accident. And so they've had it for several weeks. They were in Australia. They just got back home and they came knocking on my door to let me know that their daughter had brought in their mail and one of them was my package. So I, I went ahead and called the company and told them I didn't end up needing um, them to send me a new one and they were really great about it. And I just wanted to give that shout out too because there are a lot of these subscriptions that I've had lost in the past and they didn't bother to send me anything out. They just said, well, it says it's delivered, so you're out the money. So I appreciate that. And I'm gonna give them a huge thumbs up on that one because that says a lot about the brand. So the way that it looked um, on their site is that they go with a theme each month. So I'm guessing since this came from October, that it's probably gonna have some sort of Halloween theme. And I apologize for the delay on that. Like I said, it's been at my neighbor's house. So let's go ahead and get started. This is the box right here. Let's find out what's inside. I have my trusty knife slash half scissors. Whoa, there it goes. All right, let's find out what's in the box. Okay, so in the front there's a little card here and it just says welcome card shades monthly and a membership card for her shades monthly one thing i did see is if you um continue to keep subscribing to them they also will do like a bonus box periodically where they'll send you maybe an extra pair of shades i'm not really sure exactly how that works okay so yes it does look like it is halloween themed so the first thing that i see is this little bag here and it's a little ghost bag, which is so cute. And there's trick-or-treat candy in there with a little skeleton, which is so cute. How awesome. The little bonus things are what make things worth it sometimes. Just the little things they throw in. So there's ghost poofs. Um, some Snickers minis. It looks like little fake like gummy vials of blood and then a mini Twix also in there. So that's really cool that they threw that in there. The next item that's in the box, 
Oh, they, this is one of my favorite candies as a kid, and I love uh, cotton candy too. They also put in a uh, Pop Rocks, which is a full size, which is really cool. I'm excited to have, I wonder what they taste like. I haven't had them in a while. My son still loves them. Okay, and the next item is a pair of, looks like little shades. What do they do? It says, while wearing these glasses, look at street lights, city lights, fireworks, or anything bright, distant point to of light to see the magical images. So let's see, I have lights in front of me. Oh, cool, it turns like the lights into little bats. That's really neat. Aw, I wish I would have gotten those earlier. Okay, and the last, but not least, is the glasses, the sunglasses here. So it was kind of fun too, the little bag, which also is one of those things to wipe the, the sunglasses, has like what looks like paint, uh, blood splatter. Okay, I actually really like these. These remind me of the Key sunglasses, which is like really big through the Kardashians and, and um, I think Cameron Diaz has worn them. These actually do remind me of the key sunglasses that I have. Let's see how they look. What do we think? I actually like these uh, for my shape of face. Like I said, they ask you questions and this was a definite style that I kind of picked out. I didn't know, you know, how they were. I like the little bit of a mirror to them and they're really well made. The nose piece, everything looks to be like really nicely made. They don't feel cheap. They feel weighted, but not too weighted on your face, but you can definitely tell they're not like plastic feeling. I like them. Not bad at all. For 20 bucks, I mean, you can't even go to like 7-Eleven and pick up a pair of sunglasses for $20, I don't think. Maybe you can, but I don't think so. And I like that they're stylish and kind of in with the fad, but you didn't spend a ton on them. Uh, because if you've priced out Gucci or any of those brands, you know they run about $500 plus. Yeah, I may be guilty of that, which is a complete waste of money. Don't do it. They go out of style way too fast and you end up losing them at a restaurant or something. Anyway, that's the box. I will put a link below um, for the site if you care to check it out. Um, like I said, I don't get paid or anything for these. I just show you and I will uh, say, forgive my hand. I'll probably talk about this in a couple of videos because uh, you'll probably wonder what's going on with it. I, sl <laughs> I slam my hand and so it's all completely bruised up. So yeah, that was on me. All right, guys, until next time. Bye.